Welcome to the fly fishing adventures of Wild Trout Man. Welcome to Wild Trout Man on a nice wintry day here in Pennsylvania on some relatively new water. I haven't fished this stream in many, many years. I was here uh, a long time ago with my dad. Uh, so natural reproduction, I believe it is stocked as well. I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, got the fly pole ready to roll. Glad you're along for the ride. Thank you for your support as always, and let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Putting on a nine foot 3X leader. Gonna do some streamer fishing here to start. Uh, so going a little bit heavier, and then we could do a, a dry dropper off of that if need be. So, loop to loop. There you go, nice and, nice and neat, nice and clean. This is a handmade leader. Getting the box of meat. Lobstick. Something big and meaty for these boys. Hopefully I won't drop one. Definitely need a, a bigger container for my streamers. All of, all of the other reindeer, all of pine squirrel leech. What do you think? Looking rather fishy. Let's put this baby on. One thing I always keep: my little, my 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 little snips and for my weights and cutting my leader and i had this thing forever a little piece of rubber just run my leader through there straighten it out works fabulous don't need to do the bottom section just the top I could probably do a go through one more time but that that's good I'll be flipping out some streamers there it'll straighten out uh, really well don't want to do the bottom because I don't want to stretch that out because if I you get a big fish you want that stretching capability still there in the line six or seven times around Make sure you wet it. Little saliva on there. Pull it through. Just have that nub sticking out. Beautiful. Snip off that edge there. There you go. That's all I need hanging for my vest. My little snips like that. Everything else. It just gets in the way, it gets caught in fly line and flies and everything else. You don't need a million things hanging from you. Put the rest in your pack or in your vest. I love my vest. Everything's right up front, right there, easy access. A little bit old school, but it works for me. All right, let's go. Let's go catch some trout. If I'm feeling, if I catch anything here, it's gonna be a stocked fish, I don't know, but. Let's see what we got. Ah, boots in the water. I'm a happy guy. Happy wild trout, man, with my boots in the water. Love it. You know, fishing streamers, doing it downstream. Dry dropper, doing it upstream.
Not sure how deep it is here. Fishing it on the swing and then doing a doing a retrieve in and varying that, varying the speeds, varying how soon to do the retrieve and how long I let the, the swing take place. The art and science of fly fishing. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> nice. It's like a brownie. That didn't take long. Nice. Not sure if that's wild or stocked. It's got some good looking fins. Nice color. Beautiful. On the board early is nice. They just relax and have fun now. First time I'm wearing these Sims gloves, I'm, I'm liking the warmth that they offer. How about that gorgeous brown trout? On an olive pine squirrel leech. It's always nice to get on board quick with the trout. Nice brown trout on a streamer. Haven't been here in a long time and wow, it's, it's good to be back. Here we go. Very sweet. Got some snow coming down. Gorgeous Pennsylvania. Fly fishing for wild, wild trout. Maybe some stockies here as well. Natural reproduction stream that I believe gets stocked and uh, let's go get another one. <laughs> let's go get his daddy or maybe his grandpa now. Always fun in the snow. Perfect conditions. It's gonna work both sides here. That looks like where the slammer should be right there. I'm gonna try and even get on that other bank and fish it from that side on the bank. I would think seam right off the fast waters where a trout would be lying. Conserving energy and just going into the faster water to pick up a meal. Nice dry fly water too, man. Always more difficult this time of year, but like you saw there, they don't go into hibernation, they're still feeding. Picked up another one here. They're brownie. No, it looks like a brook trout. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Gorgeous. Made a brookie. Wow. That's cool. Boy, I fished through that section before. Not even a hit. That's cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Made a brook trout here. It's holy water. That made of brookies. Cool water's cold. Look at that fine specimen. Beautiful native brook trout. How awesome.
first one came pretty quick. Uh, took some work to get the second guy. Nice native brookie. Really beautiful. How sweet. Ooh. Got a big old log fish. Guess we'll see how deep it is. <laughs> This is the spot right here for a big brown trout. Waist deep and deeper in the center there. Oh, I do have a log. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Yeah, I lost it. All right. Oh my gosh, this one's still recording. That's cool. This battery lasted a long time. Uh, hopefully it got me, uh, maybe it got me catching that, that uh, native rookie there. Very nice. Wow, that thing's been going for a while. All right, so probably gonna head over to check out a Class A uh, wild trout stream that's a tributary here. Uh, don't have a lot of time. It's almost 3.30, it gets dark quick, so we'll, we'll scoot over there, check it out, see what happens, and maybe get lucky and, and uh, find, some, find a trout or two over there. All right, very nice. Ran into one of these. Never a nice sight. So I drove up to the Class A wild trout stream, but unfortunately that was posted. So back down to one of the branches. This is the east branch. You're gonna fish, fish this upstream, and uh, going with a dry dropper, going with the Super Adams with the with a white wing material. Uh, compliments of Henry Ramsey. Thank you, buddy. Uh, as always, wish you were here and wish you the best. And we got a beadhead pheasant tail off of that, off of the Super Adams uh, attractor, which is going to be our strike indicator. So, uh, not a lot of time. Let's make a few casts and maybe we'll hook into a nice wild trout. Okay, here we go. That native brookie was on the west branch. Uh, obviously, a bigger stream. This is the East Branch that we're hitting right now. That's as much information as I will divulge. You guys can figure it out from there. I try not to broadcast the name of a stream unless it's a big stream that gets uh, everyone already knows and has a lot of fishermen there already. Otherwise, don't you guys do your homework and you know, find these streams on your own and makes it even more fun. Love this dry dropper. So fun to fish. Slugging those big streamers. <laughs> Chuck and duck is, take some work. This is more artistic and more zen. It's getting hard to see my fly here with the, as the sun goes down. Still able to see with that white wing material though. I love that. That is nice. And look at how floats high and dry there. Probably too small to see on camera, but it's coming down nice. Same speed as the bubbles, just perfect. Got a perfect drift here, but it's just too shallow. But I wanted to just work my way up here. Strip in as that fly comes down. Get it moving. Now watch the current, same speed as the bubbles. Fix your line, mend that line, move your, move that rod tip around to get that fly coming down nice and smooth. 
really good drifts here. Kind of stripping fast so you're ready, ready to strike and there's no slack in your line. Hit that feeding lane. Watch where those bubbles are coming down. That's the feeding lane. That's where the food gets concentrated. Got to get good at figuring out which is the, <laughs> which is your fly and <laughs> what's, the, what's a bubble coming down. Yeah, once you do it enough, you know, you know what to look for. Scan that surface like a trout looking for a meal. <laughs> Knee deep would be awesome. Just looking for the silhouette of that fly coming down over there. Really surprised not to pick something up here. Just perfect drift coming down. Yeah, look at it. Same, same speed as that bubble right there. Just going down the same speed. Perfect. for something deeper maybe here <laughs> that's a great picture <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this not even to my knees that's not good it's gotta be to your knees for the most part It was exciting for a second. Gave it the old college try on, on this natural reproduction stream here. One of the branches uh, downstream from where that class A comes in. And uh, just uh, nothing. Not a, not a hit, not a rise. Uh, no action. But truly enjoyed the beauty of great outdoors of Pennsylvania in the wintertime here. So, hope you enjoyed the show. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, Wild Trout Man. Home sweet home. Only in the Jeep.